Since I got here, I've probably been driving three years in Taiwan. I don't really look at the street signs, I just look at the location. The 101 building is kind of like my North Star. I just kind of use that as a guide to know what direction I need to go in. But a lot of my friends are like, oh, Davis, you driving? Oh, wow. Uh, they know that my Chinese is not too good, um, but they are definitely surprised. Just give me like a high five and say, good job, Davis, good job. They're just happy to see that I'm adjusting to the culture. I've been in Taiwan for about four and a half years now. The city uh, makes up, you know, the people, and uh, I really enjoy uh, being around the Taiwanese culture. Um, the safety, far most, is the important thing. Um, when I chose to decide to move here and become a citizen, uh, just enjoy being around the people. Since I graduated from college, it's been a up and down, uh, trying to decide uh, which career path I want to take. And um, I traveled, you know, many, many places. Uh, since I've been here, it's been like sort of love at first sight. I think uh, one of the great things that, you know, Taiwan has adapted to a more open culture and just accepting everybody. In my home country, you know, it's not really been easy, you know, being a young black guy growing up. In America, we tend to look at the color of someone's skin and give stereotypes. I think Taiwan is something special. Maybe it's something in the water here that <laughs> it's easy to just come here and adapt and be loved. And, People look at you and stare, but you know it's genuine because they're amazed about how tall you are, you know, your athletic features and, and things like that. So to now I feel like I have a home now. Um, you know, you're always gonna have, you know, some type of struggles in your life, but you know, it's just a matter of how you deal with it. You know, since my injury, you know, I've changed the way I, I, I do a lot of things uh, to try to keep me uh, in shape to prevent, you know, further actions from happening. It's tough being a coach assistant because, you know, because you want to be out there and, and do things, you know, you want to be hands on to walk people through, you know, not just tell them, you know, Jayo, but be the one in front of them, grabbing them on, like, come on, let's go, let's go, Jayo, Jayo. So I like to be that guy to pull you along, so. I won't be playing basketball anymore. So then I must think about my next opportunity to give back to Taiwan for you know everything that they've given me. I think my Taiwanese dream will be to open an English school. I would definitely have to have basketball involved <laughs> and just try to open the eyes of more traditional parents who don't believe that sports is important. You know, um, whether kids want to be a, a, a doctor, a surgeon, you know, whatever they want to be, you know how to get along with other people. You know, all these things involved, like that sports. I would like to be that bridge to, you know, help them to, you know, study as much as they can here, learn English, and then go abroad to learn as much as they can to bring back those ideas. I hope that one day I can make this dream a reality. So when I say, yeah, basketball is not enough, I just feel like, you know, with my success, I just know I can do more and want to do more. Davis has to offer than just basketball, so I just want to come up, try to, you know, help build a, a bigger and stronger Taiwan.